Not my favorite way to start off 2022, but we're gonna make sure my girl sees happy and healthy, so. If you follow us on Instagram, you may be aware that Stormy has a little mass on the left side of her muzzle that developed when I was in Korea, which is why it was not addressed sooner. And this has been her second appointment for it. The first one, we did a round of meds, didn't really seem to help. This time I brought her back and we did another fine needle aspirate. So we did it two times and the vet assumes that it's a plasma cell tumor. Usually they're benign, um, but in some cases it can be cancerous. So to be better safe and sorry, we are going forward with surgery and going to send it off to a pathologist just to be better safe and sorry and make sure my stormy girl stays safe and healthy for as long as she can be. And this is all going to be done before her birthday. So once it's her birthday on the 17th, she can have a big old eight year old birthday blast. So we're in the car right now because we literally just got home from the vet, but see, I know babes, you can kind of see it right there. And it has some hair growing on it. She just got her pre-op blood work done. They just drew it today just to make sure everything's fine and all Gucci. And then she will have her appointment Monday the 10th. And then she'll be home the same day though since it is a very minor surgery. Which is, oh my gosh, time she had her spay too. So she had to stay overnight. But this time she'll be back home same day. So she'll be happy. I'll be happy. Everyone will be happy. And the vet mentioned that the way that she's going to stitch it is going to be more vertical. So she'll pull skin up from here. So she won't have a little, she won't have a little Elvis lip like that even if she did she'd be cute but the vet is great greatly skilled and to make sure miss stormy still looks as fabulous as always is the only dog home so he's going to be only child for like half a day so he can revel in that glory for the very short-lived glory of being the only dog work um we started smelling gas in the building and, and we've evacuated uh we've got all the animals outside and i'll i'll come okay. right now okay okay Again, we apologize yeah Sorry yeah no that. problem i'm glad everyone's safe thank you thank you mm -hmm. bye-bye they started smelling gas in the building. Come to my house, stay for a while, me, my mama, and my family. We'll see, let's see. Are you a little sedated? <laughs> Come on. Are you a little out of it? So apparently, they walked in and one of the back kennels heaters was off. And then she was just about to go under, so they just started sedating her. And they went in and they smelled really strong gas smell. So they evacuated all the dogs, put all of them in the car. Thankfully, they didn't have a lot. And then the electric guy came out and said it was safe to go back in. But we they needed to reschedule everything anyways. So he came picked her up. She's a little sedated. <laughs> she was a little out of it when she came out. She was like, oh, hello. Instead of like her, oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. But scheduled it for next week. So yeah, well, what a way to start the week sleep it off okay <laughs> The vet tech just called. She said Stormy is out of surgery. She's waking up from her anesthesia. Everything went smooth and perfecto. Uh, her pickup is at three, so they're just keeping her for a couple of hours, making sure nothing weird happens. And then we'll meet with the vet, talk about aftercare, what she did, and then we'll get her results from the pathologist in about two to five days.
Storm Storm Girl is back home. She's laying down right now, covered in a sea of blankets. She's very happy. She is on Caprofen and Tramadol for pain slash anti-inflammatory. Basically, we're just watching out in case there's any oozing or anything weird happens. So the Caprofen is anti-inflammatory. She gets 100 milligrams, but it's split up to 50 milligram doses. She gets half a, a tablet twice per day. And then the Tramadol is more pain. She gets 50 milligrams. She gets two tablets by month every eight hours for two days. And then two tablets by mouth every 12 hours until they're gone. Since she is on some meds, I'm making sure to add lots of pre and probiotics in her meals, which you'll see in the next clip of me feeding her. The doctor just called with the pathology results. Uh, it is benign, everything is good. They're running a few more additional tests, so no news is good news. But she's done with her meds now. Tomorrow we are going in to get her scissors removed. I mean, I could do it at home, but just to make, let the vet check on it and make sure everything is good. And then the process will almost be over. So everything has been pretty easy, easy breezy, except that gas leak. <laughs> All right, it has been exactly 10 days since her surgery. She has done her medications, her sutures have beautifully healed up, and now it is time to go get her stitches out. So it's not really an appointment or anything. Basically, they're just gonna take her out back, make sure everything's perfect, healed nicely, which it is, thankfully. And uh, then we'll just cut the stitches out and we'll be all on our way. She's got her stitches out. Here's her chin. Okay, I'm chin. Good. And it looks really good. There's a little bit of inflammation and redness, but she didn't touch it or try to paw at it. And it looks really, really great. And the pathology came back, and it's hopefully nothing. Yes. Well, it was, they said it was benign, but they're running some additional tests. But no news is good news. And we haven't had a call back yet. So yay. You did so good, Bobby. And her whiskers are starting to grow back. <laughs> 